Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, the past couple of months, i would featured a number of authors who have been published through absolutely amazing ebooks. Now, this absolutely amazing virtual book publishing company has a little bit of everything for everyone. They have genres ranging from mysteries to science fictions, romance, self-help, young adult novels, and just so much more. They also feature local authors and authors from all around the country. I'll be talking with one of those authors this morning, and that is Ben Harrison. Before I talk with Ben, though, I'm going to talk with the publisher of absolutely amazing ebooks, Cheryl Rhodes. Cheryl, thank you for being on with me today. Oh, my pleasure, Jenna. It's always good to talk with you. Well, it's always good talking with you. And Cheryl, you have had such a successful and busy past couple of months since you've launched oh, yes. absolutely amazing <laughs> ebooks. I, 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 I hope I haven't bitten off more than I can chew. Uh, as you know, I spent my whole career in magazine and book publishing, and so uh, when I semi-retired to Key West, I thought all that was way behind me. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, sitting down here, uh, seeing so many good writers and so many good unpublished manuscripts, and the changing face of publishing and book publishing, and the, uh, the move toward electronics, uh, uh, tablets, e-readers, uh, I got the idea, why not just do a virtual book publishing company that doesn't exist anywhere except in cyberspace. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no brick and mortar office, there's no huge staff, uh, it's just a virtual publishing company. And uh, it would be a way of positioning myself somewhere between the mainstream publishers and uh, self-publishing. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of self-publishing authors who would rather just be creative and not have to do marketing and publish their own book. And there are a lot of mainstream publishers who just simply won't open the door for new writers. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, here's a good opportunity for everybody. Mm -hmm. well, and it's been such a good opportunity. How many authors do you have involved right now in Absolutely Amazing? Oh my goodness, um, uh, just at a rough guess, probably 50 or 60 so far. We, we opened the doors, uh, the virtual doors in January. Mm -hmm. uh, and here we are uh, just starting into June and we've published over 70 books so far. Wow. Now, I know there are a lot of publishing companies out there that will publish seven books a year mm -hmm. or, or maybe 20 books a year, but uh, I'm shooting for 200 books. Uh, a year? A year. Great, great. And, and that's a lot of opportunity for a lot of writers and mm -hmm. a lot of opportunity for a lot of readers. And Cheryl, you feature a lot of local authors, but there are some authors from around the country. I want to focus, though, on the local authors this morning. How impressed are you with some of the writers we have down here? Well, I've often said that Key West has more writers per square inch than anywhere else in the world, and, and that's even including New York City, which is the head of publishing, uh, because we're such a concentrated little island, uh, two by four miles, and we have a great literary history, you know, the, the Hemingway, Tennessee Williams, uh, uh, John Leo Hurley, uh, just, just, just a wonderful history of writers here in Key West. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of good writers right here now. We have famous writers like, like uh, uh, Robert Stone or, uh, or, or, or uh, uh, Stuart Woods or, mm -hmm. or like that. But we have a lot of writers who are might, might not be household words, but are quite good and deserve to have better exposure. Mm -hmm. And you're giving them that better exposure through absolutely amazing. Well, books. I am, and, and they're giving me good books to share with the rest of the world. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned that I have a lot of Key West writers. That's true. And a lot of people think of me as being a Key West publishing company. Mm -hmm. And that's true, but that's not really how we set out to be or how we see ourselves. Because selling on the internet, selling on the World Wide Web, selling on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, uh, Smashwords, uh, you're really selling globally. Mm -hmm. And we sell books in Germany, we sell books in France, and UK, and Canada, and the US. Mm -hmm. And so we're really an international publishing company, and we do have writers who are uh, in, in New York, uh, in Seattle, in North mm -hmm. Carolina, uh, all over the country. Mm -hmm. But I would say that out of our 50 or so writers, about 30 of them are right here in Key West. Mm, which I think makes it extra special then, since you well, do have, have those local authors. Now, Cheryl, you do, of course, the e-books. That's your, your main focus. But I understand that you have added paperbacks to the mix. That's true. Uh, the whole business principle was that this was going to be uh, digital books only, no, mm -hmm. no ink on paper. Uh, but my authors, uh, uh, 
being kind of traditional minded, they all want to have a book to hold in their hand. They all want to have a book to do a book signing. Mm -hmm. They all want to have a book to give to their mother for Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, they just want to have a book to put on their bookshelf. Mm -hmm. And so for select titles, uh, for those titles that I think are important titles and what have you, uh, we are offering now, uh, or we're starting to offer one by one by one by one, uh, paperback editions. Uh, mm -hmm. So when you go to our website, the Absolutely Amazing eBooks website, or you go to Amazon or, uh, or whatever, you'll see the option that you can buy the Kindle version mm -hmm. uh, from Amazon to download to your Kindle Fire or whatever e-reader there, or you can buy the paperback version. Mm -hmm. And what you'll do, you get there is shipped to you in a few days of uh, ink on paper. Okay, great oh. deal too. <laughs> now Cheryl Summers here. And of course, it's a good time to have beach books. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned that you guys have everything, every genre. We You've do. got mystery, science fiction. Do you have some favorites that people should definitely pick up? Well, I, I, have, I have lots of favorites, but it kind of depends on who's asking me and for what purpose. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of beach reading, uh, I often think of beach reading as something that's sort of light and, and uh, fun and uh, uh, and sort of takes you away to a different place. Mm -hmm. And so I often think of, of romances I offer for, for, for our women out there. I often think of mysteries for men and women. Mm -hmm. Science fiction, probably a little more men. But those are usually pretty good beach reads and we have, we have a number of those that I'd recommend. Uh, in, terms of, in terms of romance, uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, a wonderful series by uh, Renee Kumar who is not uh, who is not actually a Key West resident, but she is the cousin of uh, Roberta DePiro, who is a Key West resident here, and I met her through her. Okay. And uh, her series, uh, which is the Riverbend Chronicles, is a wonderful little uh, uh, romance series. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a local woman, uh, uh, Laura Gorman, who uh, used to uh, uh, co-own uh, a La Di Da. Mm -hmm. uh, she wrote a wonderful uh, memoir romance kind of book, uh, sort of slightly fictionalized, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, called Two Cups on My Table. Mm -hmm. And she's back again now with a historical novel that is just an excellent book, uh, okay. just a, a great book to read at the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, uh, we have uh, wonderful little mystery novels uh, uh, and some hard-boiled mis mystery novels. One of my favorites is Murder in Key West. Mm -hmm. And Murder in Key West is an anthology. It's a collection of short stories by eight different Key West mystery writers, people who are writing mysteries based in Key West and about Key West. Some of these are, are short stories that they pulled out of their files for me, and a couple were written exactly for this book. For instance, Tom Corcoran, who's one of my favorite mystery writers. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Tom wrote a book, uh, a, short, a short story especially for this book. Mm -hmm. And uh, Michael Haskin, uh, uh, he had a short story called Murdering Key West that he allowed me to use the title uh, for mm -hmm. this book and include his short story. Mm -hmm. And Jonathan Woods. and. Uh, and uh, Mike Dennis and, uh, and Hal Hallen and, mm -hmm. and Jessica Argyle and just a, a wonderful array of local writers mm -hmm. who are just as good as anybody you'll find anywhere mm -hmm. on the New York Times bestseller list. Yeah, it is, a, it is a good collection that you have. So check out those book, books for your summer reads. Cheryl, thank you for being on this morning. We're going to talk with Ben Harrison after good. the break, and I know you're a fan. Well, I'm a ben big Harrison. fan, and I'm, I'm taking over publishing Ben's books, and uh, uh, he'll tell you about them, but uh, uh, they're books that you will really want to read. Yeah, you won't want to. You won't want to miss these books. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.